What is up guys? The Mile High Monsters are back. So we are home, we are, there. we are at our safe place. We are at our, what I call our box. So this is the place, my, our Armbrist Pro Gym. Um, like you guys have seen, you know, we've been putting out the videos involving, you know, our, our, peak, week, our peak weeks and then the show days. Um, great, great content there. And like, you know, like I was even commenting on them, man, that shit was tearing me up. So, you know, Marty's is coming out here in the next few days. Mine's already out. Um, and just, you know, the raw emotions that went into that and just overall seeing, you know, all our hard work come to fruition there was really, really cool. But like, you know, with us, you know, it's never, you can only stop and reflect for so long because we're right back to work. So here we are. You know, we've gotten a few sessions in, but we got our camera guy, Zach, here up here with us this weekend, and um, we are going to get back after it. A um, little quick update on me. You know, now I'm four weeks out. I'm really finding the groove. Uh, you know, those first couple weeks after a show, you got to be smart. You got to, you know, make sure your hydration's on point. You're still super lean, so you can't push it too much. But now, you know, I'm up about 18, 20 pounds from stage, so uh, we are on full blast ahead. So you're going to see some heavy shit out of me today. Marty's a little bit, you know, he's got that tease about two weeks from the show. He's still super, super lean, even maybe even a little bit leaner, um, a little bit lighter. So we'll be a little bit more, you know, smart with him, like maybe not pushing like the, the 170s or something like that on the dumbbells. But um, he's still, you know, he's finding the groove in training now too as well and you know what there's nothing more than i can say is we are completely focused on next year it's like you would think after a show we kind of you know you lose focus fall off track a little bit but what we saw with our you know our achievements with our awards with the feedback from all you guys with the feedback from the industry it's only draw it's only has driven us more so all I can say is you guys are going to see a fucking crazy, crazy offseason ahead. Um, we both know exactly what we need to work on, and we are going to be getting it done with you know with with a sophomore season ahead of us. So I'll let Marty touch on this, but I'm just going to all I got to say is I appreciate everything again. You know it was so cool. Now we're getting you know 50 something likes per video, or sorry, not likes, comments. So it's really cool to see the feedback from you guys and see how involved you are and how much you're loving it. You know because that just drives me, motivates me more, um, and then. And just all the views as well so we're gonna keep blowing this up and you guys are gonna see you know something that we can look back on and see the reflection of you saw that we saw that transformation of us taking it from this step to the top step so we're gonna be filming it all and I'm so so excited about it so Marty such base a little bit on your great weekend and everything ahead yeah guys so as you know the show day will be coming out it was fun uh, it was great it was exciting all that stuff, but back to work. Um, fourth place is not what we trained for. We're going to train for first, and we're back to training for first place. So we got shit to do. We got a chest workout to kill. This is my weak area, so this is something that I'm really gonna hone in on, really focus in on, and today's a big day for me. The next, every chest session for the next 365 days has to be perfect. So um, I know that going into this, and uh, I'm just excited for the work that needs to be done. You guys know Breton and I are competitive, um, and I really really don't like losing so that really is a lights of fire underneath my ass and I know what it's gonna take to beat those guys so excited to do it and uh, get back to work so let's fucking do it all right we are starting this workout with a, a chest fly so what we always do is we make sure we do some kind of fly motion first um, solely for the reasons of making sure that we get everything warmed up, activated, getting a good stretch on the chest before we get into the heavy presses. So the sole responsibility of this exercise is just to get us warmed up, blood into the muscle, stretched out, so then we are you know, less injury prone throughout the rest of the workout. Always do something like that to get everything clicking, everything working first, and then get into your main movements after that. Um, we will work up to a top set here and we'll show you that. But again, this is all about just stretching, warming up, so we're ready to keep going and keep kicking ass. Let's so it seems to be a reoccurring problem that we have that fly machines don't hold enough weight or the stack doesn't have enough weight. I'm starting to think it might not be the fly machines that are too light, but Brett and I might just be really strong at hugging. Yep. Yep. 
All right, as you, if you have followed our training or new to here, new to us, um, we love to do back off sets. So we just hit that top set on this incline fly. Um, now we're gonna go into just slowing it down, making sure the muscles, the intended muscles are working. So we're gonna do a, a tempo set here. So we're just gonna be about three seconds down on the eccentric, so that's the negative portion. Um, we're gonna pause in the bottom and then one through, one on the concentric. So slow it down, keep it in your chest, go into a complete failure. Really finish it off before we move on. Good. Pause. Go. One, two, three. Pause. Go. Good. One, two, three. Pause. Go. Guys, exercise number two, we're gonna go over to the barbell incline press. So we always do a press. Sometimes it's a prime machine, sometimes it's dumbbells, today it's barbell. So we're gonna do a big compound movement here. We're gonna work up to a top set, really smash a heavy weight here, uh, trying to work up to some weights that we've hit in the past that Brett and I know are some PRs for us, which would be kind of fun to chase. We're really competitive college athletes, ex-college athletes, so it's a little bit more fun for us to kind of have that competitive aspect. If you don't know us, you'll kind of see that as we train. We're kind of going back and forth, chasing numbers, chasing each other, which is a lot of fun. So we're gonna go over here, do that, and then we'll do some kind of crazy back off to finish the incline press off here. The top set there, got my ass whipped a little bit, still a little bit weak, still trying to catch up to Brett, but that's okay. Now we're gonna do a back off, we're gonna drop the weight down, we're gonna slow things down, 
We're really gonna pump out some reps here, get some volume in, but really focus on squeezing the muscle, contracting the chest, and really focusing on what we want to work on, not just moving weight. Make it hurt. Make it hurt. Let's go. Yes, sir. Woo. Yeah. Oh, check, check. All right, on to one of our bread and butter movements here. So this is the flex leverage press. Um, honestly, one of the best chest machines known to man, I think. So definitely one of our favorites, Martin and I's. Um, we use this at least every other chest training session. Um, it just has the perfect, it has the perfect range of motion and also when you're pressing in, it comes in. So it's almost like you're punching through, filling up your chest. So one of the best flat, flat press machines I've ever used. So we make sure to run this every time or every other time and go all the way to failure and then back off. So we're gonna show you a few top sets here and show you a really, really good back off here to really finish it off. But anything you have your gym, any type of flat press, you can do the same kind of concept on the exercise selection. But this is one of the best machines I've ever used. If you get a chance, make sure you use it and mimic what we're doing. Yeah! Come on. Come on. One, two. Yes, sir! Come on! Yes! Yes! Perfect. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Two. Two. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on. Yep. 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 Come on. Big through, big through, big through, big through, big through. Ooh. Good shit. All right, guys. So we're going to do a back off here on the flex press. And like we like to do, we got some bread and butter movements for you guys. This one's one of our favorites. So we're going to call this a stretch pause. It's a mix between a rest pause from John Meadows and the stretch from John Meadows. So we kind of put these two together. We really, really like this. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do is start with the rest pause, 10 reps in your rest period. You're gonna let the weight stretch you, let it stretch your pecs out for 10 seconds. Then you're gonna go back into it to failure, stretch for 10 seconds again, go back into it for failure. So this one's really gonna torch the chest, guys. It's a great finisher, and it's one to really, really get a crazy pump get as much blood as you can, and get a little extra volume, a little extra work without the weight. Yeah. 
do another fly here so how we like to set up our chest workout we usually go fly press press fly press so five exercises two flies three presses um, what we're doing here is we're doing a cable fly as you can see here we're doing like a straight arm we really like to do this towards the end when you're a little bit more tired so arm is completely extended some cues that I think in my head here is picture that there's a black dot on the middle of your forearm a dot on the middle of your forearm and you're trying to touch the dots on both arms together. So what that does is it activates your chest, keeps it full, and make sure that you're fully using your chest and not your interior delts. So picture that black dot, try to touch them in the middle, and squeeze in the middle as well. So kind of a different variation. We're not bending the elbows at all, it's straight, a little bit lighter on the cable. But if you're doing it right, it fills up your chest massively here at the end. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. 
All right, moving on to our last chest movement here. So we would really like this one uh, to finish with. Um, it's a kabuki bar. Um, so it's a type of different kind of, you know, transformer type of bar. Um, what it does is it, we slow it down and it slowly isolates the chest there. The, the more you go in on it, it's more triceps, but we go super wide on it and just a chest finisher here. Um, we're doing it on the flat bench here. If you don't have a bar like that, it's fine. Maybe use like just a barbell for like end it with a barbell bench. But if you watch us, we're focusing on controlling down the eccentric. So a two to three second down count and then one through. So we're already pretty toast. As you can see, we're super full. So now it's just about concentrated reps, you know, making sure we're keeping it in the tendon muscle of the chest. I'm um, gonna just focus and finish it off here. Uh, be wary though, this, this, <laughs> this bar in this movement is very, it's, it's hard. So when you're throwing plates on there, don't think you can throw on as much as you can a barbell, but give it a try and let me know what you think. Come on. Okay guys, we are moving on to triceps now. So smash chest, feeling good, feeling full. Time to move on to triceps. What we are doing here starting out with is one of my favorite, I call it a mega set. Um, you can either do it if you're strapped on time. Sometimes I'll just do one, three, three sets of this mega set and be good on triceps. Or what I do is I always start out triceps with it. So you completely fatigue them, pre-exhaust them. Then you go into more, a couple other harder movements. But it is a huge mega set. What it involves is 50 total reps. We are doing, you're doing five exercises in one. So you start out with just the rope on. You just do your traditional rope push down for 10 reps. You take a step back, bring your elbows together. So you're hitting the other head of your tricep and you're going down and out in front of you. So just a different variation of a push down with the rope. After that, you take the rope off. So as you see, we'll take the rope off. We'll put a straight bar on or an easy bar on. And then you just do the traditional push down with the easy bar. So here for 10 reps, then you flip your hands around and do a push down with the revert under grip for 10 reps. And then finally, you take the easy bar off, put the rope back on, and you go overhead tricep extensions for 10. So, rope push down, rope step back, elbows together, push down, easy bar push down overhand, easy bar push down underhand, rope overhead, tricep extension. That is one set, 50 total reps. The purpose of this, I call it the club pump. For all you homies out there that want to go get pumped, your arms pumped up before you go to the club at night, come in here, come to the gym, get your 15 minutes of the club pump, you're good to go at the club. Let's go. Come on.
can't flex. Come on. guys so moving on to another tricep movement going into more of a heavy compound here so going to some skull crushers with some free weight but we're changing it up making it a little bit harder by laying on the ground taking all momentum out of it dead stopping it each rep and then fully locking out the tricep so this is a perfect isolation movement this is really gonna fry the triceps out without having to use a crazy amount of weight and you'll see that most of the time you're probably cheating and using too much weight on your triceps anyways, because when you do this right, 35, 25 pounds is heavy enough. So try this, let us know what you think, but this one's hard guys. This one's a great, great tricep isolation movement. Come on, your way. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. One more. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Oh. All right, Mile High fam, that is a wrap on the chest and tricep session. All I'm saying is we are back. Um, so as you saw, you know, strength is starting to increase back, especially for me. Um, like I said, Marty's still lean as hell right now, looking crazy. So it'll be a couple weeks before he's full go on, you know, strength. But this is a good time, you know, prime for him to launch off on, you know, gaining good muscle. And he's going to keep it as, you know, as lean muscle tissue as, as possible for both of us. Um, but overall, man, that was just a great session. It's good. It's Sunday here. We just wanted to come in here, get back in our groove. Um, we have a big week ahead, just letting you guys know, because you'll see these videos coming out. But we're going to go down to Florida um, at the end of this week, and we're going to go train with Ian, um, probably Bumstead a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit of Matt Jansen. And we're just going to, you know, have a camera guy here, Zach, with us. Um, we're just going to have a blast. So we're all going to get good workouts in. We're going to bring that to you down at that Revive gym. Um, that's the atmosphere to be in right now. They got, what, four guys going yeah, for yeah. the Olympia. So we're going to go in there. We got we got Cole from the bullpen from Ian just to come in and fuck shit up. So he's, I know he watches our YouTube, what you guys see on here. And you know, he called both of us. He's like, come down here, you know, push me. You know, I got my YouTube going and I just want to see
us through some crazy sessions. So we're both in a really good spot. Um, we both have, you know, a little bit of opening next week. So we're like, fuck it. We're going down to Florida. We're going down there to just fuck shit up. And we are excited. So you'll see a few more here this week. Um, like I said, this is all about being very, we're still being strategic. You know, we, we, as you notice, we're not going to eat like assholes right after the show. Everything is strategic. He's still pretty much running a prep right now. I'm just in the phase of increasing my food week to week. Um, but overall, we are locked in every day still. You know, that was just a taste of what was, what's to come for us, you know, for our debuts. And I'm just excited, man. Like 2022 is going to be the year that we blast off. And I know already, you know, you, all you watching, um, you're fully behind us and we're going to blow this all out of the water together. So keep tuning in. Keep subscribing you know share this stuff to friends if you can keep liking of course um and uh, i appreciate you guys fam so here you go mario you got a little bit to say yeah man so like brett said we just love and appreciate the support from you guys um we're back in our environment we're back having fun uh loving bodybuilding and doing what we do best and that's the work um so we're just happy to be back i don't have a lot to say um like brett said just having fun doing what we do and bringing you guys the, the shit that we bring you. So keep following along, liking, subscribing, sharing, and make sure that you tune in and really, really subscribe because we're gonna have some crazy shit coming. Florida's gonna be a blast and we just got more and more coming, more ideas, more content. And if you guys can think of a series you want us to do, let us know. So we'll see you next time.